Hey everybody. All right. Well, we're overdue for the close up, and uh, so that's what this is, hopefully. And we're here with our newest mom cat. And DJ has given her a name now, so we have that too for all of you. I know we haven't done an introduction, even though she's been here for a few days now. But it have been a few real busy days. Um, so uh, it took me a little while to get around to taking care of this, and I apologize for that. Um, so just to let you all know, her name is Serenity. Serenity. Um, I guess like Serenity Now, or uh, uh, you get the idea. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, we've got our neighbors over here talking to us. This is Puddles, as you know. Hi, Puddles. Can you hear me talking? I know. Puddles really wants to come out and explore the house. Yes, which we've arranged for her to be able to do. Um, so we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, I just want to take a minute to introduce you to Serenity. So uh, Serenity came to us from Dawes, as usual, the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. And she had been brought in, um, I don't know exactly where she came from, but I know she was given to a different foster at Dawes, much like what happened with Puddles. Um, but when that foster brought her in to Dawes for her scheduled spay, you may have noticed her belly's all shaved because she was ready to be spayed. And you can see a little bit of the shave there. Um, when she brought it, was brought in for the spay by the other fosters, the doctor found out that she is, in fact, pregnant. Um, and we've just come back from our vet with her and verified that, yes, she is, in fact, pregnant. Um, she's purring, too. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see if I get close so you can hear this. Anyway, uh, yes, she is, in fact, pregnant. You can see her right eye is a little bit weepy. Uh, we checked that out. You might notice her, her fur is a little bit patchy. We checked that out, too, so we've, we've given her a complete checkup. She seems like she's actually pretty healthy. She's had some worms, some tapeworms, which we treated her for while we were at the vet today. And um, most importantly, I guess, we had the vet do an ultrasound and an x-ray to find out uh, how many kittens she's got and how far along they are. Um, so what we found out about Serenity is that um, her kittens... Uh, we can hear their heartbeats with the ultrasound, so we know for sure that she is pregnant. But we can't see anything at all on the x-ray yet, which means she's not very far along. Well, actually, it gives us a pretty wide uh, range. Um, the, the period of time when you start being able to hear the heartbeats is about 23 days, something like that, 25 days, I don't know somewhere in that neighborhood of just over 20 days into the pregnancy. Um, cats' pregnancies are usually just a little over 60 days, figure just a bit over two months. So we know for sure that she is pregnant and that she's been uh, pregnant for at least, call it 23 days. Um, so that means that she could have over a month left uh, in her pregnancy. Or... Um, so the other thing we know is that the kittens don't start to have enough skeletons to show up on an x-ray until about 40, 45 days, somewhere in there. So we know um, that she's not that far along, which gives us a pretty wide range. All we can say for sure is that she's somewhere between, call it, uh, call it 25 and 45 days into a 65-day pregnancy. Um, so if you do the math on that, she could have anywhere from about 20 days left to about 40 days left in her pregnancy before she's going to deliver kittens. And we don't know uh, exactly where she is, just that she's somewhere in that range. So um, what we have done is scheduled for her to go back for a follow-up x-ray in three weeks and um, if she hasn't delivered her kittens, of course, which is a remote possibility. Um, we'll go back in three weeks, we'll see how they look on the x-ray, and we'll get an idea for how many there are, and that'll give us, I guess, a little bit better of an idea how far along she is. Um, so that's the plan. Until then, uh, we just kind of got to watch and wait and see how far uh, we think she is, and 
as usual on our Discord, there's the the betting pool. Um, not we don't bet for money, of course. It's not gambling, but um, there are cookies involved. So uh, on our Discord, um, I guess you guys are are free to guess, knowing that she's somewhere between about 25 and and 45 days. Uh, you know, those rough numbers there. Uh, and again, for those of you joining late, she does have a name. Her name is Serenity. And um, she's settling in here just fine so far. Now, my hope is uh, we also got her snap test done, and we found out that she's um, she does, uh, her snap test was negative, so that's good news. Uh, so I'm going to start soon, slowly introducing her to the faculty and letting her come out and get to meet everybody uh, before she has her kittens. Oh, oh my goodness, uh, I just, I smelled that. I think she just made a little bit of a mess, probably. She's going to clean herself up. Okay. Whew, stinky mess. Uh, as I mentioned, she did just get the deworming injection while she was at the vet, so uh, she was already a little bit messy, and I'd expect her to be even more messy for probably the next couple few days while she works all that out, um, but hopefully that's the case. Also, yeah, uh, people, you may have noticed that she's pretty small. Um, we were told by Dawes that they estimate her to be only nine months old. She is very little, and she weighs uh, about six and three quarters pounds uh, as of today. Um, that's, you know, with her pregnancy and stuff. So she is, she's tiny, she's light, uh, but she's not very far on her pregnancy yet, so plenty of time for her to bulk up and uh, make sure she gets lots of calories for those kittens. Okay, so that's Serenity. Uh, that's basically all the news that there is about her. So let's go see our noisy neighbor. I think she gave up on trying to talk to me through the door. Oh, she's going to come right back. Yes, I know. I know you want to go out. I hear you. Okay, well, let's go. So if you remember, when we first started letting Nibbles out of her room, uh, everybody wants Will you come in here and hang out for just a Yeah, of course you will. You want attention more than you want to go out and play, don't you? Okay, come on in here and get some love. So this is Puddles, of course. Now, we don't normally, we wouldn't normally have three mom cats all in at the same time, but that's just the way it went. So, um, uh, we, we actually brought in the new mom cat, Serenity, a little bit earlier than even Dawes said that we needed to, you know, because they had the idea that she was going to, uh, still have several weeks in her pregnancy. They said, well, she can stay at the other foster until she gets closer, and then you can bring her in. But I said, uh, oh, sounds like for some reason we're having trouble with the camera uh, sound. Well, it is what it is. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me on the room sound. If that's what we get, that's what we get. Uh, kind of a shame. All right, I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, but anyway, Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm just going to keep on going because what else can I do? So uh, let's see here. 
Um, at any rate, let's see these kittens real quick, and then uh, we'll go on from there. Okay. Good. Okay. I do hear some people saying the sounds good. Okay. Good. All right. Good. 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 All right. Cool. That's what I want to hear. Uh, that's what you want to hear. That's what we all want to hear. Okay. Good sound. What was I saying before I interrupted myself with that? I don't know. Um, so let's weigh these kittens and say hi to all of them. And uh, then after that, we'll let this one come back out for a little while. But I, at this point, I want her to be supervised when she's out with us. So uh, I don't want to just leave her out there on her own yet. She'll earn that right, just like, uh, just like little uh, Nibbles has earned that right. And now Nibbles gets to stay out pretty much all the time that she wants to, unless there's something going on. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, you are a sweetheart. So again, this is Puddle, and her kittens now are, uh, they must be coming up on four weeks old, right? Something like that. There we go. So let's weigh them and say hi to them and uh, mention their names again. They're all piled in here. She moved them over to this cage the other day. Oh, I think that's the one we want first, actually. That looks like Raindrop right there that just moved. Give me a Raindrop. Let's see you. And these guys have already started to show a little bit of personality. So we can tell this is Raindrop because a little less dark spots on her face. And also she's got dark paws. Uh, so sit right here, Raindrop. There you go. Raindrop weighs 14.9 ounces today, which is pretty good for a kitten this age. Uh, assuming she is about four weeks, she's right on schedule for that weight. And these kittens right now are so fat and fuzzy and soft. It's wonderful. They seem super, super healthy. So I'm just super, super happy about all of that. Um, I was saying that they've already started to show their personality a little bit in that uh, the boy, Bud, and uh, Brawly here, the girl, Brawly, the tortie, uh, they both seem like they want to come out and see me when I come in the room. They usually kind of come over and say hi and uh, even come out of the box entirely a couple times now, which is real sweet. I mean, don't throw off the scale. It looks like Bud's still pretty light compared to his sister's. He weighs 11.9 ounces today, but a healthy 11.9. And we've had some speculation about whether he might end up being a long-haired kitten. He definitely has shown some signs, but at this age, they, they also go through a phase where they get extra floofy sometimes, where their fur kind of outgrows them for a bit. So it could just be that. We're going to have to wait a while to see whether he is a long-haired cat or not. But he is an adorable little kitty. So that's Bud, the one boy in the class. Then uh, we have Brawly, who again is very social. And she's definitely not along here. Her fur is so short and fuzzy. Uh, she's got a little something going on with her eye there. A little winky. It's okay though. Um, Probably just some extra eye goobers, or maybe she accidentally caught herself with a claw. They do that pretty often at this age, because they haven't figured out what they're doing yet. But their claws are still very pokey. I'm sure she'll be fine. Anyway, I was going to say, her fur is very short, but also very, very soft and fuzzy and wonderful. Uh, she weighs 13.8, and she is another one of the ones that has already shown herself to be a bit of an adventurer, uh, in that she leaves the box. And then she comes back, and she always wants to see what I'm doing when I come in. So, so far I've got her and Bud sort of pegged as the social ones in this class. So that's Brawly. That's Brawly as in uh, the British uh, word for umbrella. British slang, I guess I should say. You can see she's got real pretty colors and markings. And uh, even on her back now, the colors are starting to be a little bit more visible than they were when she was born. So that's our girl, Brawly. Then next up would be our girl, the yelly one. This is, uh, like I said, they're starting to kind of show their personalities. And yes, your personality is the one that yells the most. So it's good you're showing that off. <laughs> so this is Sprout. Uh, easy to remember because she's always sprouting off. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's put you on the scale anyway, though. You can tell Sprout because she's got the little white paws. That's a good way to tell. 14.2. Uh, 
uh, three out of four of her paws anyway are uh, have the little white color on the end of them. Uh, I know, I know. Well, that's what I was saying is that you do like to yell about being picked up and other things too. So that's our girl Sprout. I know. Okay, okay. You're going to give your mom a concern you keep doing that. And that leaves us with one kitten that we haven't seen yet. Look at this. Brawley's thinking about coming out right now, just to make my point. Hey, hey, you over here. Everybody else is playing with mom, and you're over here looking. You want to see what's up? I know. Well, you're right. We are more interesting than the stuff that's going on in the box. Okay, so uh, our last kitten is Drizzle. And this must be Drizzle right here. I know Drizzle looks an awful lot like Raindrop. Uh, no pun intended, but you can see Drizzle's got those big black spots next to her nose where Raindrop just has the little ones. Okay, also Drizzle's a little bit darker overall, but that can be a difficult thing to discern. So, uh, there we go, Drizzle, 13.2. So everybody's got their weights. They're real good weights. We're happy about that. There's just fat, fuzzy, wonderful, healthy kittens, uh, exactly like we like to see. So that's good news all around. And now that we've said hello to each of them and taken their weights, I know they're being super cute, but if you want to keep on watching them be super cute, uh, I think you know how to do that. You can watch them all day long, and I hope you do. Let's get some of those goobers out of your eye while we're here, bud. Uh, little bud. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, um, but we should probably head downstairs real quick and see the older kids since it's been a little while since we've done a close-up. Uh, hopefully I can help, uh, I mean hopefully the, the, um, the stream will keep going as we go down there, but I do want to apologize in advance. If we lose it for some reason in between, then it was really nice seeing all of you. Um, but let's uh, let's cross our fingers and head downstairs and see the older kids. Hopefully she doesn't want to follow us yet because I won't be able to let her in there. Uh, but I, after we're done with the close-up, I'll let her out to run around a little bit like I know she wants to do. She looks like she's pretty settled in with her kittens now that I disturbed them all anyway. She's like, I just got them all to sleep. And you come in here and rile them up. Now i got to hang out with them again. I know. All right, so let's go see how everybody else is doing. Yep, up and at them. Oh, I brought them this cow bed, uh, which all the kittens love. Let's put this back in the corner there before I go. Hang on. Uh, i got to reach back here. Let's take this ball, move it out of the corner. There we go. Put this cow bed back here in the corner. And we'll just see if they start using that or not. We're just climbing all over it. There we go. I know. I just stuffed that right in there. Okay, we'll see how that works for him. And we'll be back to let Mom come out to run around. Oh, she ran to the door. Sweetheart. Oh, I guess it's fine. Just don't go bother anybody, okay? I'm going to have to leave you alone for a couple of 